Hey, it's Ed here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for S&P 500 with Elliott Wave Theory. Today we're going to be starting here on 30 minute time frame and not too focused on the very small time frame here. However, we're still remaining, at least I, I am remaining in the short. At the moment, I, I'm not quite sure what this is uh, here on futures. So uh, Kenny mentioned that I should take a look at the S&P 500 on the cash market. And this is where he mentioned this as being a potential fireway structure coming down that has very much potential the only issue is that on the beginning it looks more like a three-way structure but again we have no idea what this is um, so there is a possibility where this was a diagonal for example here and that is something that we have to be uh, basically guessing on, on the cash market of course on futures charts we know that this was a very large drop in price um, and the next day or the remain remaining of that day we were just climbing up higher to fill that gap that we had here uh, on the on the on the uh, cash market basically and once filled we just tumbled down again so what this has actually has the potential of being is some kind of fireway structure whether however we want to be labeling it as one two three four five that has the, has potential of course uh, what we had here was that we had a trend coming down we had a lowest low here on RSI, this one here, and then we are we have been in this very much of a sideways structure. Now, depending on how you want to be how you want to be um, measuring this, there is a chance where this would be a third wave some of something here. Now, if we are labeling it like this, where we would have this as a one, two, three, and then looking for fourth and fifth, that is very much of a possibility. This couple of days of sideways movement has now uh, created this place where we could assume that we had a three-way move here a three-way move here and a three-way move here the rsi here has already been a re reset basically um where we had this as three waves three waves and then potential three waves here it is not said that this whole whole structure is done but we have taken out some of the early short positions uh, that had stops just beyond it before rolling over so this was definitely a stop hunt here again no previous level level was established really here so i wouldn't call it a uh, liquidity crab but again a uh, stop loss hunt for sure um so continuing with that idea where we had oops this as a one two uh, potential three four and five the idea here would be that third here would be probably subdivided something like that and then fourth uh, very sideways um, where we did not even get to the 32 um, again that is some some similar uh, some common thing among very trending markets and this definitely has a very nice looking downtrend to the downside so we did hit the 23.6 retracement here uh, actually a couple times already but yeah that was the idea here and then we would be looking for fifth again if you're looking at rsr we can see that it has uh, pretty much corrected this whole cycle downwards already so and um, it is giving us um, signs that okay we definitely can come down we have now uh, gone beyond this high here on rsi which makes um, us some divergences against this high here so we have this continuation divergence to the downside of which again this uh, this structure coming down is part of definitely we'll see how much it gets on uh, or how much it affects the price if we are going to be getting here i don't think we can use this much or this amount of extension here for the fifth as a target um but if we do we would be getting one to one all, all the way down here to 30 3866 now that had some confluence on some of the previous structures that we had for example this one where we had this as only the 382 of this move um, so that would be very um, very fast though so again as this would be a fireway structure we would be looking for some kind of three-way pullback and getting a partner leg for it if this indeed is the start of something um, again labeling it in five waves um, i would be confirming if we are taking out these lows and we are getting that divergence here that is probably more visible on s p 500 the cash markets or the spx or the spy um, so definitely take a look at those as well uh, one hour or 30 minute time frame should be doable and should be visible there taking out these lows 
and this would be the area of my interest, the 3907, where we had these lows of around 17th of November. Um, I think trying to get those lows um, is a strategy here. Um, they had some support here as well from a previous order block here, um, where we had some more uh, structural support here. So again, trying to take out at least this one and potentially this one as well um, has some has some merits for sure. If we are coming back down to the, uh, let's see, the 3871 area, we have a massive gap here. So at that point, uh, we would most likely just fall straight through it um, or do some something like this without not too much of a retracement or yeah, not too many retracements among the way. But um, if we once get inside of this gap, I feel like we might just fill it all uh, during one or two sessions. So, but I'm, I'm not quite sure if we are going to be seeing that yet, especially if we are thinking that this is a far away structure. I don't think we should be getting inside of this gap. Uh, we could be getting some kind of structure like here up to this gap and then we would get that retracement and then we would be getting another one where we would be filling this whole thing. But again, that is the idea here. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking for long setups here, um, especially if we are going to be getting a uh, that fifth wave in here. Uh, if we don't and we just start moving up here, uh, then we need to be assessing this whole thing again. Um, so let's see, uh, beyond the 39.83, on the futures chart is something that I would uh, start to consider this um, something else possibly. And especially if we go beyond these, these order blocks here that we have, uh, then we probably need to be reassessing this whole thing. I don't think this is enough for a fifth wave here though. Uh, so I, I would be hesitant to call that at three, four and five, just because again, the previous subway structures are very similar in size. So, uh, this at the moment does feel pretty decent uh, in the form of size comparison to this wave two here. So this was very fast and very deep of a wave two. And then this would be very sideways and really shallow here. But I think that is going to do it for this video. If you made it this far again, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you next video. Bye bye.